It's a weird, weird world we live in. <laughs> Hey everybody, it's Ariel Flair, and welcome back to Let's Play Grandia in the last episode. We just got a whole bunch of answers about the Angelo c c Civilization, the Ikarians, and the fact that the Spirit Stone that Justin has is real. Why are you just leading me here? Or are you just going to lead me to the center? Okay. Let's just get out of here. There is no point in staying here. Can I actually just... No, okay, there is a there is a wall. Ugh, who goes there? Yikes, we're busted! What is a child doing here? Where did you come from? Lean, go secure the exit. Yes, sir, Colonel Mullen. I have many questions for you two. Don't think you can get away easily. What do we do? Justin! I'll figure something out. If you do not answer truthfully, know that your life is in jeopardy. C Colonel Mullen, they're just children. Please, nothing rash. I understand. But one who makes a fool of me, even a child. This man. He's serious, Justin. His eyes are not smiling. First, tell me your name. Oh wow, what do I wanna do? I wanna be honest. Because I think I think like knowing this, he's gonna be all My name is Justin, and I just figured something out that you guys couldn't. So you decided to answer truthfully. The girl there has been calling out your name. Now, be prepared for answer. Continue your foolish obstinacy and that girl will die too! Colonel Mullen! It's unavoidable in the line of duty, my boy. Remember that this girl's life is in your hands. Did you open the door into here? I guess I did open it, huh? My oh, my, is that so? But neither the adventurers or our men could open it until now! Now I shall ask you another question. What exactly did you see in the depths of these ruins? A strange room, but nothing else. Nothing? I see the lie in your face. Looks like you won't cooperate, I have no time to waste. I will kill you and ask for the girl. Stop! We saw a woman in strange lights! The girl is smarter than you, be thankful to that girl. If she were not here, you would be dead. A woman and a light. A woman. Lietta Valent. The lights were spirits. Colonel Mullen, what will you do with these two? You can't be thinking of... Don't worry, Lee. Angelo is a major military secret. We'll keep them as informants. What? You're going to take us away? I thought I could go home already. My dear, sorry. But you will never see your family again. Huh? No! You want me trapped for life? No, 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 no! Don't worry, Sue. The two of us can take care of these guys. My, my. But even if you escape here, there is still one trap ahead. You'll never escape the salt ruins. <laughs> How do you plan to escape from me? Justin, um... <laughs> oh, okay. Here goes. It's sink or swim, Sue. Let's go! Okay! Take that. Spin, spin, round and round! And now they're stuck. Come on, let's go, Sue! Ugh, so this is how it works. Come back here! Sorry, but we're in a rush. What if I just, um... Oh, okay, it's not gonna let me. I mean, thank God. Okay, now all I have to do is make a break for it! Look, Justin, what's that? Alright, this is our very first boss fight! This is the Rock Bird! Alright, now, it's not really all that hard, I'm not gonna lie. It's just, we primarily just want to use V-Slash. And you just critical hits. Beast Lash! Beast Lash! Alright. 
It really does kind of remind me of the Griffin, though. Alright, I'm out of SP, right? Is there any items that I have that can heal that? A wooden sword! Ah, oh, this awesome boss music. Oh, uh, no, you're gonna take some damage! Oh, that's nothing. What was I complaining? Maybe- No, this is the wrong boss I'm thinking of. I'm sorry. He's not really that hard. I also like when uh, she holds a baton, it becomes a hammer. We got close, though. What was that? That wasn't there when we came. Yeah, that guy named Mullen said that there was a trap. I think that you think that was it. It doesn't matter anyway. Let's get out of here. I can't believe it. They defeated the Rockbird too. Ha ha ha. Colonel Mullen. Those guys are amazing. They've managed to escape even me. Colonel Mullen, um, shouldn't we chase them? Having a little information about the Angelus civilization get out will not will not under undermine our plans. Let, let him go. I respect his recklessness. What was the name of that boy? He said it was Justin. Justin. Quite a character he is. I have fun. For the first time in a while. <laughs> All right, he got away. <laughs> it wasn't a dream. I did have a great adventure. Wait a second. Was it, wait, wait, just wait, just wait a second. Isn't it too soon to run away? It's evening already. Let's go back to Parm. Right, I might have read that wrong, but I don't really care. Just honestly, uh, you get spat out no matter what. It's not worth going back in because they'll tell you straight up. Oh uh, no, Colonel Mullen and Jerry, yeah, that's just, just not even worth it. And I'm definitely not going through this road. I'm sorry. I'm going to grab the feather and go to Chicken Parm, Town of Parm. I guess there's nothing like an adventure to make you hung. Uh, nothing like an adventure to make you hungry. Come on, let's go home. Um, is that the? No, that's. We're the Seagull Restaurant, not the Blue Marlin Restaurant. There you go. Say, say, Justin, it's all great going to see Liette and everything, but do you know how to get to the new continent? Of course I know, we just need to get on a ship! Okay, then how do we get them to lend us on a ship? Um, well, we just... I know, we'll ask Mom. I'm sure she's bound to know. Welcome home, Justin and Sue. Dinner's ready. Wash your hands and come along. Oh, great. I'm really hungry. I'm actually hungry myself. Say, Mom, how can we get on a ship to the new continent? What's th what is this all of a sudden? Well, I always used to go back and forth on my own ship. That's right. You used to you used to be Lily the Skull, right? Well, if you want to know about ships, why don't you just go to the port? That's it. The only way to do it. Come on, Sue. We're going to the port tomorrow. Anyway, Justin, today you're dirtier than usual. What exactly were you playing? Not playing. With an injection from the curator, we went to the salt mines, and we're doing scientific research. Woo! <laughs> you were doing scientific research. <laughs> That's funny. What's so funny? I wonder what scientific research means, anyway. Now that you mention it, the curator praised you very highly. He said that you were being very good. Yes! He might forgive me for breaking the statue. Oops, no I didn't. Hey, Justin! I didn't hear anything- I didn't hear anything about that! What exactly did you do? Oh, well, you're hopeless. Tomorrow, I'll go myself and apologize to the curator. But you have to go apologize to yourself too, okay? Understand, Justin? The new continent of Alencia, right? Which is bigger. Alencia or Miss- Messina? I read that as Melissa. 
We're Parmas. Well, there's nothing on the other side of the end of the world. Hey, I know! The end of the world! This is where the world ends on the new continent, right? Hmm, but you know, there's something that I don't quite understand. Is it really the end of the world? Say, Justin, what do you think the end of the world is like? We'll never know if we don't go. Anyway, let's go to the port tomorrow. Alright, is there anything else? This was delicious, I'm full. A way to get to the new continent. We'll try to find starting tomorrow, right, Justin? Good morning, Justin. Are you ready to go? Now, how much money do we have? Okay, we have like 770. That's not really much. I'm gonna keep- Oh, the runes I still don't know what that does. Justin, are we going to ask about the ship? Oh no, the harbor is... I remember it clearly, I believe. I believe it's like right around here. Yes! Yes, just walk into a tree, Justin. That's exactly what I want you to do. for a ship. Maybe that's Sailor. Even if the rule of the sea is throwing people overboard in a barrel is no fun. But that's what you get for trying to stow away without getting a steamer's pass. A steamer pass? Oh, you can't go on a ship to the new world without a passport? Wait, don't you even know that? Except for sailors and soldiers. Everyone else needs a pass. Well then, how do we get this pass? I want to go to the new world too. Getting one from someone else is the fastest way, maybe. I remember an old man in the calf in North Palm telling adventure stories, slowly showing everyone a smelly old past. I think his name was Java? He's an adventurer too? So I'll just go ask this guy named Java, the cafe in North Palm, right? the bar. I don't remember where it is. I think it's on like the, like the edge of the water. I think that's the pub right there. Ha! He better come back soon or he can't do business. Ah! Say, we want to see the adventurer who comes in this cafe. Can we come in, ma'am? Don't be silly. You're just a kid. Anyway, I'm busy. This silly boy, he took the key without him, again! Hmm? Someone took the key to the cafe and went somewhere? Right? Alright, I'll go find him for you. Wow, you sure? Bring back the key, I'll let you in tonight. Ah, oh, that silly boy. He must be off at the harbor watching the seagulls again. More and more fetch quests! Well, I mean, it is for the story, so... Honestly, what? I don't understand why, like... Seagulls are something to be looked at, cause like I live by an ocean and I, and I see seagulls almost all the time. I don't, I don't get it. On the other, okay. I didn't even read that. I'm sorry. Oh, here's he's probably here. Hey, just to come to see the sea. It's calm today. Looks like a lot of ships are out. Hey, Mr. Ryan, how can I get to the ship into the new world? Huh? You mean the steamer? Ho oh, ho! I think I told you already. The steamer docks at night. He might have said some more stuff, but like, I don't really care. Hey kids, passengers only will be on this point. Go on home. Well, I'll show you. I'm gonna get a pass to the ship for you know. Is he not here? <laughs> Ugh, I sneezed.
I take over the family business someday. I'm gonna sit around the world as a merchant. God, I, that's not a boy, that's a man. It has to be. Hey, sir, do you happen to have the key to the cap? Huh? The key? Oh, that's right. I still have it in my pocket. Do you guys take it back and say hi to the owner for me? Tell her I'll be there soon. The owner? Oh, you're talking about the woman. Okay, just leave it to me. Okay, that was not that was not descriptive at all. Hey, ma'am, ma'am, I found it. Is, isn't this it? The key to the cap. Gives her the key to the cap. Yes, yes, that's it. I'm glad I can finally open the cap. Thanks for all your help, you two. We got some good jellyfish stew in the customer, and the customers will be really happy. I'm so glad, man. So, as jellyfish stew, that, oh, that's not good. Okay, okay, I'll be ready to open in a little while. Just come back then. It has been a long time, Mullen, and the difficulties have been great. Yes, I apologize, Father, but there were under unforeseen distractions. Refrain from giving me excuses. Just tell the results. Did you find it? Forgive me, Father. I have not lived up to your expectations. I am prepared for the consequences. Consequences? Mullen, if you are not capable of producing results, who is? I can think of no one. Make preparations for the next strategy, strategic plan. Prepare to move out. Why is General Bones to hurry? The plan will proceed smoothly. He's probably just very tired. Father has his own way of looking at things. Your comments are not required. Forgive me, Colonel. I forgot my place. Lieutenant Lean, I didn't mean it that way. Sir, yes, sir. At any rate, we got nothing from the salt expedition. <laughs> Colonel Mullen? The boy was amusing. Justin, I believe. Colonel? It's been a while since I've seen you laugh like that, Colonel. I was thinking that it'd be nice to save at least one in our ranks with as much energy as that boy. At least we would certain we'd be certain that things would never be boring. <laughs> Listen, Lee, prepare for departure. Destination Alencia. Say, Justin, I can't wait to find out what kind of adventure Java Java is. Let's go to, off to the calf. I feel like this is the only time you're actually here at night. Where are you going, Justin? Oh. I do not believe that crickets are, like, constantly this loud. <laughs> crickets, I, like, I've lived with crickets. Not lived with crickets, but I've had crickets. Oh, it's that kind of place. Here it is! I've never been to a cat before. Sort of exciting. It's okay, don't worry. No one is gonna get mad. Let's go in. Wow. Some groovy music. Oh my, welcome. You kids have really helped us out. In gratitude, we can have whatever you want. Haha, <laughs> cool! Miss Curlin, did we do anything you need to thank us for? Don't you remember, Justin? You brought back the key to the shop today. What? The old lady told- The old lady that- That old lady- Was that you, Miss Carline? Can't be. You didn't recognize her? By changing her mind with body and makeup, a woman can- Is an enchantress. A woman with an enchantress, you say. <laughs> you have your way with words, little Sue. Hey, anyway, it looks like Java's not here tonight. Too bad. You can ask the other customers about him, though. I'm gonna ask this fat man. If you're looking for Java, the customers know better than me. Go ask around. But stay away from the ones that look dangerous. Who knows what will happen? Don't scare me like that. Java, you say? Oh, you mean that self-styled great adventure, Java from Lek? You sure? You're not sure about self-style, but please tell me about that, Mr. Java. They say young Java was the best adventurer in Messania. But since adventurers went out of style, his only joy has been hanging around the cat telling tales. They took the adventurer away from adventure. So now, he, now he's holed up in the Lek mines. I didn't even know anyone lived in the Lek mines. Now we know where he lives. The old man Java, he was so loud when he was here, but it was too quiet when it's not. Maybe I ought to take some coffee beans up to up to him at Lake Mines. 
Egads, how ridiculous. I've come all the way from the new world, but the excavation work is finished. I guess our tour of the old world and I guess I'll tour the old world and go home. They don't have tourist traps like the end of the world. The end of the world? A tourist trap? Have you been there? Fool, no one's been there. I just saw it. I saw it. Coming up, Miss Caroline. One double one more double cappuccino. Pee Pee, is that you? Pee Pee? What are you doing here? Don't you know, Justin? Me and my two sisters, Farah and Carlin, run this cafe. Wow, Pee Pee, you're really responsible. Just gonna learn from you. Hey, wait, Justin. Puppy just gobbled up some peanuts without asking. Let's go apologize to Miss Caroline. What? You say Puffy ate some peanuts? I think he's saying he's sorry. Will you forgive us? I know. Then to let you make amends, can I ask you to do something? That silly Java forgot his wallet the last time he was here. I'd like you to take it to him. Let's get to Lek Mines for and take the train from the station, right? No problem. Leave it to me. To get to. Bleh. Okay, okay, Puffy. We get it. Puffy says he's hungry. Come on, Justin. Let's go home. Oh. Oh, hey, it's you, Justin. Wanna mope with me? No, thanks. Why don't you tell me a story like you always do, sir? The story of Parm of old? Okay, why not? Where was I? At the time Parm was still rule, the men were all rough and rowdy. No civilization or steam engines, but it was still a good life. There were pirates and adventurers. Wow, there were pirates? Sir, you were an adventurer, right? Were you ever attacked by pirates? Of course I was attacked. That Lily the Skull has dreaded all, was dreaded by all adventurers. Lily the Skull? Could that be? Ah, oh, that was a good time. Wish I could go back. Ugh. Oh well, he's mumbling again. I don't think he's ever gets to the end of the story. At least they tell us that. That's the general store. And here we go. Um. Hey, Justin! Ouch! The hell was that for, Mom? Today my shoes aren't muddy. What time do you think it is? It's so late. I was worried you got hurt. Oh, I'm glad you two are home safe. Come on, eat before it gets cold. Yes, ma'am. We know where Java lives, so tomorrow we might be able to get a pass from the ship, Justin. Wonder if he's a great adventurer. We oh, can't wait to meet Mr. Java. I heard that you're going to the Lek Mines to see Mr. Java, right? It's dangerous, so don't go. I guess it's useless telling you, though. You are the son of an adventurer. But promise me one thing. You have to promise to protect Sue. Remember that you're a boy, right? Of course, Mom. I'm an adventurer. Take care of Sue, Justin. If Sue should get hurt, her parents will turn over in their graves. Don't worry, Auntie. Despite appearances, Justin is pretty tough. Wow. You know what? You know that Mr. Java must be pretty scatterbrained to forget his wallet like that. Yes, siree. Even I'm not nearly that forgetful. But don't you always forget to feed Puffy? Right, Puffy? Puff, puff! To get Lek Mines where Java lives, we have to take a train from the station. I think Dad said once that there was more coal in those. There's no more coal in those mines. That was delicious, I'm full. Tomorrow we're going to the Lek Mines to see Mr. Java. Don't forget, Justin! Good morning, Justin! Are you ready to go? Now, I know it wasn't really that productive, but we will be going to the mines in the next episode! Um, I might, we'll go to the station and end off the episode there. The station's next to the track, so it shouldn't really be that hard to remember or find. Or we're we just gonna... Oh, okay. Just follow the tracks. Alright. In the next episode, we will be taking a train all the way to see Mr. Java. At Lek Mines. See you guys next time!